And welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. Let's keep going now. Let's see here. Now if we wanted to, we could go down that elevator. But there's something else I want to do first. It involves going back this way. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. We have to go back a little further. Should be r should be in the next room, I if I remember correctly. There it is. Move, Kyle. Full moon gate open only after midnight. Why? Age of fullest moon and raised lever. Okay, whatever. monster. They don't see them. I hear them, but... Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy! Hold still for a minute. There you go. Ah. Barely give me anything. Alright, so let's see. This switch... Full moon gate. Alright, so we have to enter the day of the full moon. How you're supposed to figure this out? Random guessing. The answer is 15. Just I have no idea how the hell you're supposed to actually figure that out other than randomly guess. But now that we've unlocked the full moon gate, we can go through here. Oops. Now I'm back through here. Kyle's somehow getting in front of us, despite there only being one ladder. And having his flamethrower on underwater. That makes sense. But we've unlocked this gate now. And this is required if you want the good ending. You have to go through here before going down the elevator. And where does this lead us? Back to dry field! You know, suppose it, the shelter is supposedly out in the middle of nowhere, but we just walked back to dry field. All right, bye, Kyle. Ah, <laughs> not romantic moment, but okay. But yeah, we're back in dry field. And Flint's still here. He's still alive because we saved him earlier. And now you'll see why he's required for the good ending. Time to follow him. This way. Where are you going, boy? Huh? Where are you going? Through here? Okay, I've seriously, seriously forgotten the layout of this town. Oh, wait, now I remember. Come on, there we go. What's in here? Other than some monsters. Eh, screw them. Yeah, yeah, I lost ten bucks. Big deal. Oh crap. Oh hey, it's Pierce! How the hell did he get out of the way out here? Why the hell is he all the way out here? Ow! Ow! That's it! Come on! There we go. Eh. Oh hey, Pierce! How the hell did you get all the way out here? Oh, and he's dead. Or not. He's fine. Mostly. Okay. Looks like he hit his head? Maybe? 
Just a massive blood loss, nothing serious. Well, we have plenty of painkillers. Prove it. Well, you did a pretty crappy job of that. You don't even have a gun! How'd you get up here anyways? <clears throat> what? Were you keeping that in your mouth? I don't want it anymore! Of course he drives an SUV. <sighs> He'll be fine. But maybe we should get something for his little head wound. Alright, so uh, let's see if we can find anything for him. Other than the whole pocket full of painkillers we're holding right now. Actually, there's something I want to do first. I want to clear out this area. Where is it? There it is. That... What is that thing? Well, it's dead now. That's what it is. No! There we go. Ooh, belt pouch. I'm saving that for him right now. Let's go check out his SUV, shall we? He said he left something for us there. Oh crap, monster. Nope, stay away. Oh crap, there's a lot of them. And apparently one of them just exploded. Give me a crap ton of money, though. How much do I have? Do you have enough to... No. Alright, let's see. What's around here? Any monsters? Nope. It's clear. I know there... Are there monsters? No, there aren't any monsters here. Alright then. Let's go see if we can find his car. You know, now that I think about it, we sh didn't really need to take Mr. Douglas's truck after all. Turns out the shelter's within walking distance. Ow, God! Ah, yeah. How are you still alive? Oh. Hey, no, stay away from me. Fine. I'll just hit everything around me. Oh, that worked. Alright. Let's see. Oh, crap, monster. Holy crap, giant mosquitoes? I think that's what they're supposed to be. Oh crap, there's more. Any more? Any more? I'm still in battle mode. There has to be more monsters somewhere. Oh, there you are. No! Get off my face! No! Ow. Come on. I know. Oh, you're still there. Alright. Let's see. Let's grab some stuff from my trunk now that I'm here. Uh, I'll take that. Oh, I forgot about that woven ring. I've been keeping it in my pocket without showing you guys why I went back for it. It's a medicine wheel. If we attach it to our armor, it's kind of like the holy water, except now enemies will drop more rare, will actually have rare drops now. So that's pretty useful. 
Oh wait, I was getting something, wasn't I? Oh yeah, I want that ringer solution. I have a lot of crap. I don't need you. Uh, anything else I want? Oh, I had a bell pouch in there. All right, that's everything. Of course, Pierce drives a giant red SUV. Why not? Let's see. Let's see what he brought us. Some really good armor. And lipstick. Okay. Pierce is weird. Let's put that on. And let's see. Recovery goes on there. Holy water. My medicine wheel. Let's use a belt pouch. I'm going to be using this armor for a long time. Grenade pistol, of course. Uh, another belt pouch. Oh, better put my ammo on here. Uh, where are my grenades? Oh, there they are. Oh, my GPS. I forgot to put my GPS on. How many more belt? I have one more. Uh, let's just put some MP recovery. Alright, there's my armor. Holy crap, I have a lot of HP now. Uh, can I recover anything? No, I'm not even close. Alright. Uh, he needs heals. Alright, so I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, blah, blah. This episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve. Next episode, we hopefully find something for Pierce's pure huge head wound. So, until then. <laughs>